everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Expert Mode playthrough. We are back today my friends, thank you so much for the amount of support you've been showing for the series. If we could of course keep it up, that would be very much appreciated. But we are back today my friends, there are three major things I want to be doing. First of which involving going ahead and taking on the Martian Madness event. After that, we're going to be going ahead, making ourselves a surface mushroom biome. And then finally to finish off the episode, we are going to go ahead and give the cultists a go. So yeah, we're on our shrimp truffle right now which as you can see is absolutely amazing it offers infinite flight which is awesome i gotta say i very am well i very much am a fan of that so yeah i'm, I'm pretty damn happy about it but yeah we need to head up into the skies and we need to try and find ourselves a martian probe so yeah as long as we stay in the space layer here we will be able to find ourselves some martian probes hopefully eventually so yeah all we got to do is fly around here for a little bit we'll probably get withered spawning as well let's be honest but yeah we're looking for martian probes my friends let's see if we can get one and i'll be back in a mo hey 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 go mr probe go <laughs> the martians are invading and during a blood moon apparently as well this is uh this is going to be interesting, to say the very least. Holy crap, is there a lot of harpies around as well? God damn. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, guys, let's head down to the surface. There's probably going to be a whole bunch of guys down here. Oh, some coins. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> and now to pick up all the scraps. <laughs> oh, man. This is quite funny. There's just a whole bunch of stuff on the ground for us to pick up and have fun with. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and yeah, this is uh, this is going to be interesting to say the very least, as I was saying. So yeah, let's head back to this thing here. Let's get ourselves some of these guys going. Four, five, six, I think that's six. Uh, summoning potion, go bring that up to seven. And bewitching status should bring us up to eight. So let's get back over to the base. I haven't even set my spawn point, that's pretty terrible actually, I should have done that. Alright, okay, let's get that done. And uh, bed set. All right, cool. And now we go ahead and do all the stuff which involves me taking down the Martians as we normally would. Okay, so I believe there's only two more things I can really get from this event, and that is the cosmic car key, which of course is the UFO. And also, oh no, don't kill my NPC. Oh, they killed my NPCs. I was actually going to buy something. I'm not going to lie, I was actually going to buy something from the uh, from the steampunk. I was going to buy the Clentaminator. I guess I should have done that beforehand, huh? Oh dear. I done messed up. But anyways, guys, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, you know, we're, we're going to go ahead and get this, uh, get this event dead. Yeah, well, we're going to get this event dead. <laughs> good, good, good job, man. Good job. I think I'm doing pretty well. Not. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, well, then we're going to go ahead and invade my base because that's just what they do. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Pretty much just wasted ourselves one of those, uh, one of those things as well. All right, let's health up. There we go. But yeah, I was going to buy a Clentaminator from the, uh, from the Steampunker because I, will, I was going to make myself a mushroom by him. And I kind of messed up and I should have bought it beforehand, in all honesty. So, yeah. Ow. Uh, can, can you not? Thanks. Much appreciated, dude. Bunch of butts. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and get on with this thing, and if we manage to get something cool, I will bring you guys back. Hey, I'm seeing me one of those cosmic car keys to the right-hand side here where I'm hovering, so that is pretty damn cool. This will be, well, this one here is now the fourth Martian saucer. I managed to get myself another laser machine gun, and there's a Xeno popper right there. So yeah, this, uh, this cheesy tactic does seem to work quite nicely. So yeah, let's keep going, my friends. We are now after the influx wafer. Ah, dang it, man! What the hell? I was gonna go ahead and dispose of a bunch of guys who spawned down here and kind of block the spawning of anybody else who was on top. And I, I, I got killed for it. Cheers, Butsky! Alright, now I gotta kill all these guys to get my damn money back. What a bunch of jerk bags. You can't be doing that to me, dudes. Right, I tell you what, let's go ahead and get ourselves a bit of this going. Here we go, and let's get our little Xeno dudes back. So all seven of them. All right, and now we need to go ahead. Oh, we need to get back in our AFK spot. Holy crap. Or cheese spot, whatever the hell you want to call it. Holy crap. All right, and this guy, I believe, is the one who killed me. Yep, he dropped a bunch of money. Awesome. There's one down there as well. You must die and give me all of your gold. Give me. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, guys, let's keep going. There we go, my friends. The Martians 
have been defeated. The message has popped up. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see what kind of things we got. Got ourselves... Uh, oh, the whole bunch of stuff I can't even pick up because I ain't got any space. God dang it, man. But anyways, guys, look at this. We've got two cosmic car keys. We've got two of the main article that we were looking for. So i got to say I'm very, very happy about that. And as well as that, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of gold, including all of this lot, which is from when I died. So, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's everything, man. We did pretty well out of that. We got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, the steampunk had just arrived back in as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, that's right. There's a bunch of these guys here. Get rid of them. There we go. <laughs> All right. That's everybody, man. That is absolutely everybody. I'm pretty happy about how that went. Got ourselves the uh, cosmic car key. The only thing we're missing now is the influx wafer. So, yeah. Uh, platinum coins. We need two of them to buy the clentaminator, right? So, yeah. In fact, we're pretty much all good already. So, yeah. Feeling pretty good about it, my friends. Feeling pretty damn good about it. Let's go and put this little baby on. There we go. You're going to go in there, uh, along with a whole bunch of other stuff that, frankly, I don't need. Holy poop, is there a lot of stuff. <laughs> and there's still a whole bunch to pick up, too, man. Good lord. Right, now then. Uh, where is she? Wait, where's the steampunker at, man? Steampunker? Oh, she's in that. Oh, she's in her actual base. Oh, okay. <laughs> She was living in the in the new house before, but now she isn't. Right, here we go. Let's go and buy ourselves a contaminator and a bunch of green solution. I'm going to buy 20. We don't need a great deal because I want to go ahead and purify the hallow. So, yeah. We need to do that, and then I'm going to be going ahead and transferring, or transgressing, trans transforming, there we go, transforming an area into mushroom grass. So, yeah. I need to go and grab my uh, mushroom grass seeds back out, actually. Uh, there we go. Or oh, one, a two, a three, and a tiny bit as well as that. Okay, cool, man. Cool. So, yeah, we managed to still get a bunch of drops on the floor, which we didn't manage to pick up. So let's go and quickly see what we got right there. I mean, obviously, you know, health potions are always useful. Uh, we've got ourselves an anti-grav hook and a xeno popper. I've got to say... The anti-grav hook, I'm actually not a big fan of, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, the reason being is, I feel like it's a bit weird to use. I think it's more of like a gimmicky hook. You know, just something to say, Oh, hey guys, I got myself an anti-grav hook and it's kind of awesome. But in real-term use, I just don't like it. I don't like it because of the fact that, you know, yeah... I don't know, man. You can't, like, pull yourself into the center, and I, I don't know. I just, I, just, I just don't really like it, basically, is what I'm basically uh, saying right here. But, uh, yeah. Let me go ahead and uh, organize my inventory, and then we'll uh, bring you guys back once we're ready to go ahead and make ourselves a surface mushroom biome. Let's do it. Here we go, my friends. Time to purify the hallow. Let's do this thing. Oh, wow. This is, uh... Oh, -ho -ho! I forgot how powerful this thing is. I mean, uh... Yeah, you need only look at it, my friends. You need only look at it. Damn. There we go. And that's pretty much all I want to do in terms of purification. So now what we've got to go ahead and do, my friends, is uh, we need to go ahead and replace this with uh, with mud. And then we can go ahead and start getting ourselves some mushroom grass planted down. And then this will be the area of which, you know, we'll have ourselves the mushroom vine. So all will be good, my friends. We'll have the truffle and we'll be able to make ourselves a, a nice bunch of ranged armor if we so wish. So yeah, let's go and do this thing, my friends. And I'll be back once we're ready to actually get the mushroom grass planted down. Alrighty guys, so here we go. I actually made up a bit of a mess up actually in that uh, I was actually supposed to keep some of the hallow behind because this was supposed to be a hallowed farming area so we can get ourselves unicorn horns for holy arrows. So yeah, I've gone ahead and replanted down the hallowed seeds and basically with uh, we basically just sectioned in a, uh, a, a, a you know, an above ground mushroom biome. So yeah. All is looking good, my friends, so all we need to do now is we need to go ahead, make ourselves a house, and then the truffle can move in. So, yeah. Should be pretty damn interesting, my friends. Uh, we've got ourselves a bit of wood, so, I mean, we could just do it right now, but eh, I kind of want to do it properly. So, we're going to go and grab some mushrooms, and I'm going to make a house. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? Another blooming event? I swear to God, this blooming world is just cursed. Like, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember the last time I had a peaceful night on this blooming world. Holy moly, man. 
Oh, it's kind of hilarious though, my friends. As you can see, I'm in the process of making a cool looking house for my little mushroom truffle friend. Uh, in that, uh, I'm gonna make this like a little mushroom fort kind of dealio. You know, I want to try and put some more effort into my builds, and you know, as a result, this is now what I'm doing. So, yeah, this should be pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, there we go. That's the actual building pretty much done. Little mushroom fort. And uh, all we need to do now is get some other stuff going. But apparently the pirates are coming in. Well, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is great and all, but I don't really want this to be the case. God damn it. Alright, guys, time to farm these fools out. Or they can disappear altogether. Okay, cool. Well, at least they left me in peace so I can go ahead and get on with my damn life. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead. Get this mushroom house finished, shall we? Alrighty, guys. So here we go. We have ourselves the truffle house complete. It kind of looks like a mini fort kind of dealio. But yeah, it should be more than enough for the truffle to move in. Obviously, I want to go ahead and get some more chests for here to maybe store mushrooms or something. But yeah, my friends, we, we've managed to get ourselves a surface mushroom all sorted out. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. So... The final thing I want to do in this episode, my friends, is give the cultists a try. If we do manage to defeat them, awesome. We can go ahead and perhaps farm out for some amazing lunar gear. But if not, then, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world. So, yeah, all right, here we go. We're back up to three platinum coins now, my friends, which is awesome. Uh, I'll tell you what, let me go and sell some stuff. Uh, I'll tell you, what, we don't really need the wedding dress and such. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be having a wedding on Terraria anytime soon. So, yeah. All right, and let's just go ahead and clear up our inventory. And we're pretty much... I think we're pretty much good to go already. So, I think we're going to go ahead and make our way to the dungeon and see about getting these cultists defeated. So, yeah, I'll meet you guys over there. Alright guys, here we are beside the cultists, so yeah, we need to go ahead and pretty much uh, get this thing rolling, so let's buff up right now, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to go ahead and put the worm scarf back on and take off the yo-yo bag, because uh, we're probably going to be using something like the possessed hatchet, so, ladies and gentlemen, time to pwn these guys, come on, come on, come on, alright, here we go. And now it's time. We go on our little thing, and we see about killing this damn fool. Oh boy! Alright, let's see how we do with this. Really hope I'll be able to do this, my friends, because, uh, oh, okay. He has taken a lot of damage. I think as long as we stay reasonably close to him, my UFO dudes are going to keep doing a whole bunch of damage to him. I mean, look at it. He's already a third down. I should probably health up, though. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Keep it going. Oh, dragon! Got to be careful of that dragon. He's going to kill us. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, come on. He's at half health. I got... What the hell is that? That must be his expert mode attack. Oh, that's like blooming... Oh, what's that game called? I can't remember, man. Come on. I'm so scared, man. I am at low health. Come on. Dragon's going to come out again if I'm not careful. Oh, dragon. There he is. Come on. My health is not doing so hot right now. I'll be honest with you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. I could do this. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> we done did it. Oh, God. Okay, there's already peeps here. Uh, so we're right beside the vortex pillar. That's interesting. Uh, oh. That's not good. The nebula pillar is right next to our base, my friends. Is it actually going to overlap? Uh Oh, oh, yes it does, yes it does. If we go and visit the guide's room, we're gonna have a bunch of Oh! Oh these guys are gonna be with us! Oh boy, this isn't good, this isn't good, I'm gonna get killed. Okay. Oh, oh boy! Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand you wanna kill me, but can you like not, please? Alright. Oh, and and of course we have the pirate invasion to contend with as well. <laughs> it's just invasions galore in this freaking world at the minute, guys. Good lord. <laughs> Alright, let's go and get these fools taken down, and yeah, that'll be a good point of which to end the episode upon while, while all my NPCs get killed. That's all great. <laughs> Ooh, we've got ourselves a pirate staff, my friends. Don't even know if we already have one, I'll be honest with you guys, but I just thought it sounded like a pretty cool drop. Oh, man. Oh, and there's another one of these guys. Good lord. Above. Okay, let's get ourselves one of these things out. I need to be quite careful, actually. I tell you what, let's go ahead and switch to using our possessed hatchet. Because this will hopefully do the job of taking the peeps down. Oh, there we go. He's done. 
He done got destroyed, son. Nice. All right, so one of the things we still are yet to get is actually the lucky coin. I didn't even manage to get it in my main Terraria 1.3 LP. So be- Oh! Be kind of cool if we managed to get it in this one. You know, just something, a little reward for, you know, going on expert mode and taking guys down and stuff. Come on! Almost done, and there we go. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Oh, oh. Well then. Oh, no, they're going to pick up my coins, man. Oh, you're a butt. They're taking all my coins. Hey, come on, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It takes us about three years to respawn, so by the time you respawn, they've already disappeared. Dude, expert mode is such an ass for doing that. It really is. Like, you're, they, you die, and then it takes about three years to respawn, at which point the enemies have already walked off and despawned with all your money. You know what I'm saying? I just find that a tad annoying. So maybe if the respawn time has stayed the same, so we actually have a chance of getting our money back, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I'm about to die of flame damage, aren't I? Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, and I'm dead. <laughs> Expert couldn't put the fire out. No, I couldn't, because, yeah. And now we've got to wait another three years to respawn. Good. I love waiting. Come on. Come on. And... Here we go. Oh, uh, and they're right there. <laughs> right there to greet me. Oh, no, don't go in there. Oh, God, no, no, no. Don't go in there, man. That's a terrible idea, dudes. Holy poop. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want these pink guys. No, no, no. Oh, this is terrible. No, 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 no. I don't need you right now, man. I don't want you. Come on. Ah. Oh. God damn it, man! This is getting annoying. Did we take down all the pirates? Are they done? Oh man, we got to remember we cannot go to the left, to the right hand side of our house because otherwise those pink dudes are gonna spawn in. So yeah, this is bad. This is a very very bad thing. But anyways, guys, looks like we have managed to defeat the pirates or not? Apparently. Okay, interesting. Let's just uh, let's let's take down the stragglers, shall we? There we go. That's them all done. And I think on that note, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to end off the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I imagine from this point in, it's it's going to be death count galore. Really? Like like really really? Are you for real really? Uh, I forgot this possessed hatchet doesn't pierce enemies. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, then uh, the like button is there for a reason. But aside from that, thank you very much for watching, my friends. Your support, as always, is much appreciated. And, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later, folks. <laughs>